Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am so excited and I know that I say that a lot. Today's video is one that I've waited so long to film. So for the longest time, I've wanted to save up and buy a MacBook, but for Christmas, I was spoiled and I got one from my husband. Shout out to Tanner for being just the best ever. I'm still in shock because I just I'm so excited. Anyway, something that I'm really really looking forward to about the Mac is that I'll be able to have better editing and my videos will just be better because if you don't know, I've been filming and editing everything from my iPhone and so obviously it can't be super amazing, but I do what I can with what I have. So I'm really excited to be editing on a MacBook and I know what you're thinking, you already have one, the 2015 one. It's literally so slow. She's not doing well. It takes hours to export footage and all of that. So I'm just really excited to have a new MacBook. And honestly, I'm so grateful. If you are looking for more of a tech view on the MacBook, this is not the channel. I'm just a lifestyle YouTuber and I'm just unboxing a MacBook that I've wanted for a while. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. And here is the MacBook, by the way. Just a little bit about it. It is the MacBook Pro 13 inch and I got it in space gray. It's eight gigabytes of memory and then it's 256 gigabytes of SSD. I don't really know like super technical terms, but so yeah, I'm so excited to unbox it. It's so beautiful. Tanner also got me a case just because I don't want to break my Mac and it's always good to have like a protective case over like computers and stuff like that. So anyways, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing and the setup. Okay, so here she is. Literally so clean. Okay. So it comes with, I think this is just the charger. Does it not come with the box? Oh, there we go. So this is the charger that it comes with. And then this is the like plug-in for the wall that it comes with. So in the little envelope that comes with all Apple products, it has just a little like guidebook on little parts about it. This, which I never look at. And then some cute little Apple stickers, which I didn't know they'd make it like, I don't know. I've never seen like the space gray one. So those are kind of cool. And that's actually all in the box. So now I'm going to turn it on. The part that I don't like about this is taking off the, the protective stuff because it just keeps it nice and clean. There she is. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is the back. So we're going to go. She's like my baby, so I can't. Here we go. Oh. What? <laughs> There was this thing on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's a different view of the laptop. This is with just basic setups. So I'm going to do English. First impressions, it's so clean. And I've never had a touch bar, which is really, really cool. I've only heard about them. But they look so nice. I'm like a big fan of it. I'm not going to set that up now, and then I'm just going to connect to internet. Hey! 
Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Okay, so I've been playing around with the laptop for a little bit, and here are my thoughts. First impression, seriously amazing. Like, the laptop is sleek and clean and beautiful, and seriously an upgrade from the 2014 Mac, just because that one was, in comparison, so slow. I couldn't really tell the difference until now using this, because I'm like, oh, whoa, that downloaded really quick, whereas I'm used to it downloading in like five minutes. It took like a minute, if that. You saw I downloaded Google Chrome just because I prefer that over Safari, which is just my personal personal preference. And then, oh, don't mind the filming light there, but this room gets really bad lighting. Anyways, just checking it out, like something I really, really like about the Mac is the touch bar and the f touch ID for downloading, I didn't know that it had that, or for some reason I forgot. But just checking out the touch bar, it's so clean. Like, I really, really like it. And I did set the Mac for dark mode just because I prefer that. As for customization, I think that I'm just going to change the background because, I mean, I prefer my own, you know. So I'm just going to go to Pinterest, actually, and just find some cute backgrounds. And if you're thinking about upgrading, I probably wouldn't upgrade if I was, like, at a 2018 Mac or, I mean, within five years, right? So so that's, like, something to consider. I, as I mentioned, had a 2014, so it was quite slow. Six, almost seven years old, which is pretty old for a laptop. I think you should probably try to stay within five years on laptops and so i think this was a huge upgrade those are my first thoughts one second as i get into pinterest because it's not liking my password right now all right so i got into pinterest i had to like reset my password because i couldn't remember it but anyways here we are i'm going to just find a cute macbook wallpaper aesthetic that's literally all that i typed in Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is pull up a web browser. I prefer Google Chrome, and so that's why I'm going into Google Chrome. Then you're just gonna search Pinterest in the search bar and pull up Pinterest, and then you just start searching for images that you would like to have in your picture collage. I went for a blue aesthetic, and so that's why I'm just here downloading all of the images that I thought would match the aesthetic. This is where you have all sorts of creativity. Go ahead and find any color board or just basically any images that you would want on your collage. You could also use personal pictures from your camera roll or you could get them off of Pinterest or just online. And so that's what I'm doing in this clip. After that, you're going to go to a website called Canva, which is completely free and you can design all kinds of things. It's just kind of a template or place to put it all. And then I searched up a desktop wallpaper, which is going to be the perfect dimensions for the wallpaper that I want to make. I had to sign in really quickly, but after that, I just started inserting all of the images that I wanted to put in the collage. After I got all of the images that I wanted, I started changing the size of each picture to match the aesthetic and just to kind of fit all on the page, as you can see here, but just get creative with it and make it look however you want it to look. As you can also see on the side, there's a little tab called elements and in that you can literally type in whichever kind of images or stickers that you might want to put on your wallpaper. And again, you can get so creative with this and just make it completely your own. After that, you're going to download the picture to your computer.
and then it's saved onto your laptop. After that, you're going to drag it onto your desktop and then right click and you can set it as your wallpaper. If you have any questions about this, just comment down below and I'm happy to help you out. But yeah, I don't know how to do the widgets yet, so I think I'll try to figure that out and just kind of play around with the laptop. I'm going to unbox the clear case and put it on. Honest review, like I really, really love it and I'm excited to use it, edit videos, use it for school and all those things. So yeah, this case is just from the Apple website and I'm just going to put it on the Mac. It probably can't be plugged in while I put this on, so I'm going to unplug it here. This must be the front. Oh, that is so clean. Oh, it's upside down. Okay. You're kidding. It looks so good. Okay. Well, that's actually going to be the end of this video because I feel like it's getting kind of long and I'm just kind of playing around on it. I'm going to play around with it more. Hopefully this video and my future videos are going to be better quality and edited better because now I can do it on my Mac and it'll be up in less than six hours after editing and exporting and stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. All of those things help my channel to grow and to get out there and they mean so much to me honestly and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye guys